Well, we've had a good backpack trip, overnight backpack trip. We went off trail and found this nice ridge up here with a good view. We always tend to look for sites that are up high. Just something about it that you can stand at a cliff and look down. There's a stream down below. So, and then behind me are those beautiful rock formations. It was very cold last night, but I had my minus 20 synthetic sleeping bag along with the fleece liner. And I don't know if there's anything more comfortable and cozy than on a cold night at the edge of a wilderness being toasty warm and makes me very happy with my three dogs. I brought fleece liners for them because it makes me feel bad if I'm comfortable and cozy, warm, and they're shivering. But with their, their fleece coats, uh, they are warm also. So we had a really good night and a nice morning. It was freezing cold until the sun just came over the mountain about a half hour ago. I had a, a fire going from 6 a.m. until after 8 a.m. and I really needed it. But look at Bo down there looking down at the stream. What a wonderful trip. I'm going to be 70 in just two weeks and it makes me feel awful good that I can load up a edge of wintertime pack and come up here that I still have the health to do that and I have three amazing border collies that come along with me they've been doing it all their lives all three of them Bo was not even six months old when he went on his first backpack trip and I think he decided he liked it when we go backpacking, I, I only take my red Chevy truck. So they know that when I start loading that truck, that we're going to go on an adventure. <laughs> and they get, besides themselves, happy. So here's the other side. And my tent is right behind that rock right there and there's little little Haley enjoying the sunshine <laughs>